Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. I have been MIA for a little bit, you know, I haven't posted in about two weeks, so please forgive me. And if you're new here and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And in today's video, we are doing a get ready with me featuring this look, okay? It's a fun look and I'm using a ton, a ton of new products that I picked up during the various sales that have been going on, especially the Sephora sale. Now, I talked a lot of mess about the Sephora sale, but I did go ahead and pick up quite a few products, okay? And I wanna put some of them to the test today. And I will catch you up on what's been going on and why I have been MIA, because I have been traveling for business, okay? So we're just gonna talk, we're gonna catch up, you know, talk about some things and use some new products. The palette on my eyes is the Electro Trip Palette from Melt Cosmetics. So this is their newest launch. I picked it up during their sale, right? So we're gonna use this on the eyes. I also grabbed a shade from the Too Faced Italian Spritz Palette, which I've been really liking. It's a good little palette. I'm not gonna hold you, okay? I also have the Valentino foundation, which I already used before. I've had it for a while now, but I'm testing that out with the new Valentino concealers. I also tried out the Givenchy Prism Libre concealer. So we have two concealers we're trying out in this video, as well as the new bronzers from Pat McGrath, if I could find them. The new bronzer, so I picked up two shades. We're gonna try these out. We have a new mascara from Fenty. This is the newest launch. As well as, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, a new blush from Giorgio Armani Beauty. This is one of the shades that I picked up during the sale. And some new lip products. So on my lips, I am wearing a tinted lip balm from Tower 28 and then a lip gloss from Amicole, but also Clarence. So it's just a bunch of new things, all right? So if you wanna see how I created this look and like chill and chat with me, then let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, so as usual, we're starting off with a clean, freshly washed face. And I'm going to do like a full on face on camera because we have a lot to talk about and catch up on. So let's get into it. I'm starting off with my moisturizer. This is from Make Beauty. It's the Succulent Skin Gel Cream. This is a lightweight gel moisturizer and I have been enjoying it. I even took it traveling with me. So, all right, let's get down to it, all right? We're catching up. I have not filmed in over two weeks yeah over two weeks and honestly truly i don't even feel like filming right now but here we are so this moisturizer made it with me on my trip so i went to philadelphia for work so there's a high power lab in philadelphia and i had to do some arc flash testing so that's where I was and there is some very interesting technology that is under development right now and this is like research testing for the new technology. They're interested in the impact of an arc, the energy that is released with that arc, and then what kind of hazard it creates as far as temperatures, pressure, and of course fire hazards, right? So that's my job. I'm in the regulatory and compliance industry, but I am a consultant now, so I work on whatever, okay? So whatever comes my way, I help with the research, figuring out the requirements as far as electrical safety, fire safety, and also like government regulations. In the US, the government regulations aren't as strict, believe it or not. I know, you're like, what? Yeah, it's not as strict here, but there are companies that are in the safety space that kind of address these requirements and they act as the governing bodies almost <laughs> when compared to the actual government. I know we have the NFPA 70, which is the National Electric Code, 
but hmm there are so many more requirements okay why am i getting into this boring stuff anyway that's where i was i was on a business trip all right but just know that i impact your life more than you know apart from you watching my videos right so i'm applying my primer to my brows this is the one i use on my eyelids this is the urban decay anti-aging primer potion they no longer make this packaging which pisses me off this is the little pipette, you know, the little squeeze tube. Now they have the doe foot applicator, similar to this one from Sephora, which I don't want, but I'll make do. I mean, I'm making do with the one from Sephora, which I absolutely love. I use this one for my brows, but this one can double for your eyelids as well if you have oily lids. So how are you guys? What's been going on? Talk to me. So what's been going on here? Right now it's raining, all right? So hopefully it doesn't get worse and you don't hear like thunder or anything. It's calming down a little bit, but you never know. Oh, let me come in. Let me come in, might as well. So since we last spoke, we had like severe storms in Florida. Ciao! I did not escape it this time. There was flooding. The Fort Lauderdale airport was closed for a couple of days because of the flooding. So I was out here like, ooh, living my best life. All the storms have missed me. No, this one did not. 26 inches of rain in, I believe, three days. What? Two feet of rain. You heard me, all right? Two feet of rain in a short period of time. It was crazy. There was severe flooding, okay? My mirror just shut off. I need the light, like, what are you doing to me? But anyhow, yeah, there was like this whole flooding. We got like six months of rain. I think they even equated it to like a whole year of rain <laughs> in one shot. And it was raining for the whole week leading up to like that intense burst. So we had rain for like seven days straight, right? off and on and then for three days it was just raining and pouring and yeah severe flooding because one the ground is saturated so there's nowhere for it to absorb it's just gonna stay on the surface so yes child I live on the second floor which is my preference if I'm gonna live in a multi-story apartment complex which is where I live I live in a, an apartment complex that's my preference I don't do the landlord thing I can okay it has to be an apartment complex point blank like if I'm gonna rent it has to be a apartment complex I am not gonna deal with individual owners either because I know there's some of them here in Florida where they have like condo communities and you have individual owners that buy these places and then rent them. I'm not dealing with you. I am not, no, because when I need a repair and I gotta call you and no, we're not doing that, okay? Here, I put in a service request through an online portal and it gets fixed within 24 hours. That's what I'm used to. Maybe 48, depending on like, you know the severity of the fix but whatever it gets fixed pretty quickly i don't want to have to deal with a landlord landlords are like the worst i don't care if you're a landlord you're the worst <laughs> that sounds so terrible yeah, mm. listen the bad apples are out there ruining the bunch they're giving you guys a bad name like everybody's out here buying up properties that they aren't living in to rent and make this quick dollar and they are becoming like a nuisance all right i i can't i'm not gonna deal with a landlord i'm not i'm not you know screw you screw you people need houses that they can buy for their personal homes instead of y'all buying it up to rent it out like it's a nuisance i'm sick <laughs> I'm sick of them. Oh my God. And these corporations are the worst. They're the ones like overbidding on homes. So like a regular purchaser like myself can't get a freaking house. It's like a pain in my ass because they're driving up the prices for these houses. Some of these houses have gone up like $150,000 in, in value. Not even value, but like sale value rather than actual equitable value i'm like come on now y'all are doing too much y'all are doing too much for real like my brother's house right 
they spent a lot on their house. They're dual income, so it's easier when you're dual income and you both have pretty good positions. You're making decent salaries. It's easier, right? Because then you have more buying power. So they have more purchasing power. So they bought a decent sized house and I'm so happy for him because he has four kids. Like what? And his mother-in-law lives with him. So it's like a large family. So they needed a larger house. So obviously they're going to spend a lot on the house. And then they live in one of the better neighborhoods as far as school zones go. Cause you know, you have to factor that in when you have kids. So they spent a pretty penny on their house to begin with. They got in like right when the house prices started skyrocketing, they got in right at the beginning of it. So it wasn't too, too bad. But they also lucked out because the person that was going to buy it before them, like somebody had already put in a bid, they were going to buy it before them. They actually didn't qualify for the mortgage and ended up having to, to withdraw. You know, things like that happen. And they lucked out and got the house because they wanted that house. They had a bid in for another house that they were going to settle for, but this one came up. It worked out just how it needed to work out. And it's like, it couldn't have happened to like more deserving people. So they lucked out with the house, but guess what? The house value has actually gone up a good hundred thousand dollars, like almost $120,000. And their neighbor, their next door neighbor is trying to sell their house for a million dollars. And I'm like, how, who, what? Stop, stop. This is the other thing. That person rents that house. I think it's a four bedroom, three bathroom. So it's not even like a huge, a huge, huge house. They have a pool in the back and it's nice. It's set up like a little, you know, a little cabana oasis kind of setup. It's nice. The backyard is nice. Inside the house is nice enough too, but the outside is like the selling point because they have a lake view. It's cute. It's cute. But a million dollars? Don't do that. And you know, they're like, oh, it's not a million dollars. It's $998,000. Like, it's a million dollars. Are you serious? But like, these people are ridiculous. Like, are you, don't do that. Don't do that. And there's some nice houses in that neighborhood. There's some nice houses, okay? So I get it, the value should be pretty high. But a million dollars, sit down. Like, why are you doing that? There's no reason for your house to be on the market for a million dollars. Needless to say, it didn't sell. So they're still renting it right now. And the rent is like four grand. Four grand, like, are you serious? No, oh no, no, mm -mm. Oh, no, no need for stop it. So I'm just like, well, sit down here. I mentioned this before that I'm paying a higher rent than I was paying in New York. And I was on Long Island, so it's not New York City, obviously. So the price point is going to be low. Why is my mirror not turning back on? This is ridiculous. I much probably need to change the battery in this. But yeah, I am now paying a higher rent. And I just renewed my lease for another year because there's like no houses for me to freaking buy. So I need like another year. The rent went up a hundred dollars a month what like in the in long island my rent increase was like 25 dollars a month maybe 50 i think the highest it ever went up was 50 dollars a month which okay i get i get okay we get price increases every month there was one complex that i'd moved into like before i went to the last place that i lived in and they kind of did a bait and switch they got me in with a pretty decent rent. It was still a high rent. It was still about the same that I was paying when I left Long Island, right? So it was a high rent. And then after the year, they were like, well, if you want to renew your lease, all right, it was going to be a $600 jump. You're thinking, oh, $600 for the year. That's not bad. You know, that's $50 a month. No, $600 per month per month and you guys probably know these communities the avalon communities yeah it's the avalon community and it was 600 increase per month and i'm like sweetheart the apartment is not that nice i'm sorry the apartment was not that nice i'm not paying three grand to live 
in a freaking community that is right next to the train station and, and they call these communities like commuter communities because you would have people that work in the city that would just rent there and then they walk to the train so it's easy access and it's like oh yeah they can afford to pay these ridiculous rents because of the convenience of the train I did not need to be near to the train, sweetheart. I'm going in with the Melt Cosmetics Blur Eyeshadow to set down my concealer. So the concealer that I use is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Coverage Concealer. Did I get that right? Hey! Finally got it right! Oh my god! I love that concealer. Oh my god. The shade I have is... What is this one? Chestnut and the one under my brow was caramel. So I actually used two shades. I recently picked up Chestnut because I am afraid that this product is about to be discontinued. Even though it's a favorite of like everybody. Okay, everybody in the industry makeup artists love this concealer. So I don't know why it would be discontinued. But it has been out of stock for so long and I ended up just getting Chestnut because that was one of the shades that were available. Lord, it not come on. It do not want to come on. Lord of mercy. Anyway, so I just picked up that shade. So yeah, like, how do my brows look? They look, I think they look fine, right? All right, so the palette we're going in with, Electro Trip, also from Melt Cosmetics. This palette is interesting. So... Here's the thing, I love Melt eyeshadows. I love their palettes. Like anytime they release a palette like this in this style, I'm all over it. Like I want it, I want it. And this is their newest release in this style. Okay, if it's this style, I want it. So this has some blues, right? Like this is more of a teal though, like a dark shimmery blue, a teal. I'm gonna pop in the swatches so you can see a light blue this um lime green we have a dark matte brown this bronzy shade and then we have some coral this is like two corals this orange is like a shimmery orange and then this bright red let me pop in the swatches so you can see them so there are let's see six shimmers okay and then four mattes usually they have more mattes than shimmers there are 10 shades in each of their palettes in this format, like I was mentioning. This is like a typical standard format for them. Um, I don't know if I love that, that there are more shimmers than mattes, but we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to start out with Bang. It's B-H-A-N-G, whatever that is. So this is like the orangey shade, the, the corally orange shade. And I'm gonna just buff that in the crease line. So yeah, I don't know what the frick is going on. I can't stand the housing market right now. All these houses that these people are trying to sell for like $400,000 and you're looking at it like, sweetheart, I would not want to even spend $100,000 on this foolishness. Like they have low ceilings, it smells bad. It's like that old house smell, like somebody has been living here for a decade and it just smells like their food and their farts. And <laughs> like it stinks, so you're gonna have to like redo the whole thing. It's in an old style. And Florida houses, by the way, there's nothing like, oh, God, let me shift this a little bit. Yeah, because I need to see the mirror and you need to see what I'm doing. But it's like the houses aren't even nice. Like the styles of houses, they have low ceilings, okay? Them have popcorn ceiling, okay? And then them have the nerve. Want to come sell you these places. And you're like, don't do that. Like, don't, don't, don't do that, okay? <laughs> do not, all right? Let me grab... Italian spritz from Too Faced. Guys, guys, I am so surprised by this palette about how much I like it because I didn't expect to like it. So I'm gonna go into their orange shade. So there's no matte deep orange in the Electro Trip palette. This is feeling saucy, this orange, right? So Melt Cosmetics had a, what was that called? The Neon palette, right? Yeah, the Neon palette, which I think is the one that... Lord, oh, I'm so excited. FPL alert, your bill is due. On a sub mix-up. Them two mix-up. Okay. I like that they send me the alerts, though, because I just... Once it pops up, it's like, your bill is available for review. I'm like, I pay. I can't. <laughs> it's like, 
get that out of the way because I, I don't like putting all my bills on auto pay. Some of them I do, right? Like my car insurance, yeah, that's on auto pay just because I know what to expect. My internet bill is on auto pay. Look at that orange. Like, I love this orange in this palette. The mattes in this electronic, hear me about no electronic. The mattes in Italian spritz. I love them, right? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put everything upon auto pay, but things that I know, like, I can expect the price. Like, my internet bill is a set price. There are no additional fees, no nothing. It's a set price. Same thing for, like, my car insurance. You know, they give you the six month breakdown, so I know the price. So, everything for that is on auto pay. And then some of the auto pay, you get a discount if you sign up for auto pay. So, like, ATT with my phone bill. Go ahead, auto pay me, okay? I can still go in and check the bill but things like my light electricity bill and then um what else do i pay anything else that i have to pay i don't put it on automatic because i want not much night to go to my account i don't like i like to be aware you understand all right now let's go back to electro trip and use strawberry fields which is the the matte red so the uh, neon palette from Melt Cosmetics wasn't, ooh, okay. So their mattes can be a little powdery. Okay, I'll say that. But some people hate, hate Melt eyeshadows and I'm like, I like them. Especially these palettes. Like, I love them. I don't know what to tell you. I love their eyeshadow palettes. Are they a little bit powdery? Sure, okay, but I can, I can deal with powdery shadows. It's fine as long as I'm getting the pigment that I want. And then the shimmers, are they a little bit questionable and sometimes a little crumbly? Yeah, perhaps. This red. Like, I don't even need to say anything. This red is fantastic. This is such a pretty red. Now, red can be very intimidating because, like, how do you wear a red, right? It makes no sense. I love a deep red. <gasps> they do have deep reds. I was going to... I'm gonna use the brown, but maybe I'll pull in one of their deep reds because their palettes, here's the great thing about their palettes, all right? So all these pens are magnetized, right? And it's the same size across all of the palettes like this. So if you have multiple palettes, you can kind of create your own palette. So I could go ahead, that's my chair. I could go ahead and like grab a deep red, like a burgundy red from one of their other palettes and put it next to this red and be set. For like a red look like this you're probably like oh my god and this is gonna look better i'll tell you right now on like a tan skin or a deep skin if you have like a pink undertone in your lighter skin it may look a little odd and <laughs> i'm gonna say it i see a lot of pale skin people with like pinky undertones use red and I'm like that does not look good I'm gonna say it you think it does like you wear all these warm eyeshadows and I don't think it looks good but I'm gonna shut my mouth okay I'm gonna shut my mouth oh my god so yeah the people in my name look a dirty house things that me I got paid for hundred and twenty thousand dollars upon them look a two bed some of them China is like oh it's a three bedroom two bathroom four hundred and twenty it's like a flat top that looks like it really looks like I'm gonna tell you right now a trailer park home where you just plop it on the land and then you go with it which you know those are bad because some of those homes why the light now come on hold on I forgot to figure out one year out I have not figured out the issue. So we're just gonna proceed so yeah like i'm not spending it and then the house gonna smell about it and no no you know what i'm talking about too when you go into somebody's house and it smells like they've been here for 20 years like nah all right let's go in with head trip which is the orange yes you know what melt cosmetics they're the weed brand right like one of the shades in here is reefer like everything is a reference to weed and I think some of these may even be like strains different strains because you know there are different strains to to weed and I get it I get it y'all love weed y'all in California just and I may sound a little bit uptight but stop it's like I'm Jamaican like 
Jamaica is known for weed, like, so don't even come with it. Like, that was my entire life growing up. <laughs> like, that's my culture. So you're not giving me anything that I don't know about, you know? But, like, y'all make it this whole personality of the brand. It's, at what point, at what point are we going to give it up? Give it up. <laughs> like, I'm over it. This orange, though, so pretty, so pretty. The shades don't really lend themselves much to creating a look just from the palette, but we're gonna run with it, all right? We're gonna go in, let me take up a little tiny blending brush. I'm gonna use another one of these Singe Beauty brushes. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I don't love these brushes because they feel a little too, I don't know, they're small, right? But then they're floppy, so I don't, I don't like how they apply eyeshadow necessarily because I don't use brushes like this typically, right? I'm definitely supporting Angie though. She created a brand, like she created her own brand and she's creating brushes that work for her. But these aren't my style of brushes, you get me? And I can appreciate these for smaller eyes or just based on how Angie applies her eyeshadows. You know what? I'm going to shut up because I don't want to say anything too negative. But just be sure if you're going to purchase these brushes that they are going to fit your style, okay? And they don't fit my style. The shader brush, this, this one is really cute this one i do like so the two shader brushes i think are nice all right the blending brushes are the ones that i'm not too too vibing with just because i use different style of blending brushes so those are my two cents leave it at that but i do want to congratulate angie on creating her own brand like seeing a need in the industry for these small brushes that fit her style and she ran with it and i wish her success because it's not easy to start your own brand you know so yeah anyway let me go on i'm applying the brown now which is reefer yeah that's why i was going into the whole oh milk cosmetics so yeah the flood happened for lauderdale was flooded out it's raining now i didn't really get flooded out like the roads were flooded some of the roads were closed around me there was like a tornado warning, like the whole thing, right? I didn't have any downed trees. It wasn't really windy, it was just raining a lot, but you know, downed trees can happen just from the soil getting too um, saturated. So I didn't have any downed trees. I didn't have any flooding in my area. Like I mentioned, we have great drainage systems here, but the little lake, which was kind of dried out anyway I was mentioning the drought like before like the dry season so it was kind of dried down it filled right up it filled up and like it overflowed a bit but you know the overflow still doesn't cause flooding in the area so I was all good oh my god this this freaking mirror is driving me mad all right let's figure out what we're gonna use on the inner chair duct let's use you know what I'm gonna go in with Saturn which is the light shimmer so yeah I went to Philly did some testing and that trip ended up being a week and a half so I was originally just gonna be gone for the whole week so I posted one video that I pre-filmed and edited and uploaded I thought I would get like videos filmed and I could edit while I was away Nope, none of that happened, not at all. So I have not filmed at all, at all, <laughs> for two weeks. And then I came back for one day. So it ended up rolling over into the next week. So I went there the full week, right? And then I was just supposed to be done on Friday. So my flight was booked to leave Saturday morning just because we were gonna be done late on Friday and there were no late flights except on Spirit to come back. <laughs> Friday night so I just said all right I'll come back um Saturday morning lo and behold they wanted to do testing on Monday and Tuesday so I had to come back or I had to go back so I had one day to like unpack repack 
do some chores and then head back and ah, needless to say I didn't have a chance to film I didn't have time at all and then now I'm back this is my first weekend back where I think I have some time but now I'm headed to well not right right now but my nephew's graduation is tonight so I'm going to go later tonight it starts at 7 which is not too late but then after they call all the names which is a whole thing <laughs> with graduations they have to call all the names and they have to do the thing and it's like a, ugh. so I'm not gonna be home until like probably 9 10 o'clock cuz then it's in Miami so it's like a whole situation so I'm gonna go over to my brother's house we're all just gonna drive together which my mother hates doing if we're doing like a, a trip or something where like the majority or the whole family is going she doesn't like to travel together because she's like if anything happens which is like a thing right that's always been a thing if anything happens then the whole <laughs> the whole bloodline is wiped out so we don't want that right on my inner tear duct should I use the green or the blue let's use the blue blue heaven is it heaven or haven heaven so it's the light shimmery blue same brush and they're a little scratchy too they they're a little bit scratchy I know it, it I, I feel bad because I don't want to like knock the brand or knock the brushes but I have to be honest with you guys and just because I'm cool with somebody and they're my friend and we support you know we support the cause like I bought these brushes like don't trip I'm a support but I also have to be honest with you guys because if I tell you, oh, this is the most spectacular thing ever, and then you get them and you're like, Tina is such a lying bitch. So I have to think about my integrity as well. So I just have to be honest with you. They're not my favorite brushes. And I think that has to do too with me being in love with natural hair brushes, okay? So we're talking about like Sonia G brushes. That's my favorite brand overall, just for brushes, period. Then we have Refer, which makes pretty affordable brushes. I will leave my link down below for both of these brush lines. Sonia G is available through Beautylish and then Refer has their own website. And I have an affiliate link, yeah, for Refer. So they're always discounts for Refer brushes and they make natural hair brushes in pretty typical styles and they sometimes create like new styles, right? But refer sonia g and then i have sonia cash up brushes which are synthetic bristles right so they are not let me turn on another light girl that is not helping a thing i am so mad at this freaking mirror right now so it's my simple human mirror it overheated a little bit and then it just completely stopped working but that's like i make it go on and up but yeah like at the end of the day, I still have to consider my integrity. I'm not just gonna lie. I'm not bashing the brushes, but so far they're not my favorite brushes. And, and I, I consider myself a brush connoisseur at this point. I think I have a pretty good feel for brushes and how they work, right? All right, for my foundation, I'm gonna use this one from Valentino. It's the Very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. I have not used that in a while, so I decided let me pull it out because I have the new concealer. I'm gonna grab this Pore Refine and Primer from KVD Beauty. So yeah, I'm here trying to film some videos this weekend to like catch up and use some of my new products. I think I'm gonna do a haul video after this, but another thing that's happening today is I gotta go cook. So my mom is making dinner for my nephew. Since we're going over to my brother and my mother-in-law is not here, she went to England. She does the majority of the cooking there. So that's like her jam, like she does the cooking in the household. She's not here, so my mother always fills in and does some of the cooking. So you know, Sunday, you cook Sunday dinner, whatever. So my mom is making curry goat but I have to make the oxtail. So she started the oxtail. I, see, I bought the oxtail right yesterday and I seasoned it up. I know, like, <laughs> I'm like a stray housewife. So I seasoned it up, cleaned it up, seasoned it up, 
and then brought it over to her so she could pressure it um this morning right so she pressured it she done pressure she done text me this morning but oh she done pressure the oxtail already so it, it's ready for me um to come and finish cooking it because let me tell you right now my oxtail is delicious okay it's so good so <laughs> I don't let other people cook the oxtail. I have to cook it. My mom's like, oh, you want me to cook it? We just cook. No, don't cook it, mommy. Because my mother, let me tell you about old people. <laughs> I'm getting old too, so who am I? But let me tell you about the older folks, okay? Them start think about them blood pressure and all these things. And them not cook the food nice. And I mean, you can still consider low sodium and all these things, but like, it not have no flavor. Like, my mother really not put no flavor in the food. It not season good. So, it's like, me, I come cook it because I don't know if I cook it. So, I have to come cook it. I have to help her cook the curry goat because, honestly, truly, she's the Indian. But mama tell her she can't. No, I don't know what go on with them and the curry. Like curry chicken and curry goat, I don't like when they make it. It water, water. The gravy not thick. It not taste like it tastes like stew chicken. It not really like, a, like a water stew chicken. It not taste good, man. It not taste good. Like where's the flavor? Where is the flavor? So I'm going to go El cook. So I'm going to say, all right, what am I going to do? I'm going to wake up early-ish, right? And the thing is, I have a trip coming up too. That's the other thing, right? So I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do like one look, you know? Do a video, get ready with me, catch up with Uno. Then I'm going to go over there right now after this. I'm going to cook like in a full beat. I'm going to go over there and cook the oxtail, finish up the oxtail, right? And then when we finish the oxtail now, I'm going to come back and then... Mega get ready again because I gotta leave and go to to the graduation, right? So mega film so, <laughs> Like I'm gonna try to film another video of that getting ready. This foundation is nice. The match I have is like perfect. So I use DN2. It's not a strong fragrance. Ew. Motif this. <laughs> so, at the hotel, right? So the hotel I stayed at, you know them have the little, the little soap dish thing, right? So them have the soap and the little lotion. <laughs> and I was using this to put my foundation on because that's what I do. I put, I have to put my foundation on something. So I usually put it on the little soap dish thing, right? This was so... <laughs> I like this so much that my teeth fit. My teeth fit. I don't care. Them have it. Them have it. And how much I pay at the hotel. My teeth fit. My teeth fit. I put it in my, put it in my suitcase. And I did take it. And I feel no ways about it. But the foundation. Beautiful finish. Beautiful coverage. It's like a full medium. But I didn't even have to apply a lot to get the coverage. You guys probably already saw as I was swiping it on. It was like coverage me here I am I'm doing things it was beautiful right and now the concealer so this is the what I'm call it them have one name for it hold on it is the very Valentino concealer all day light lasting concealer so it match up with the foundation right so I'm gonna get two shades in a I'm gonna get two shades I'm gonna see which one work better I'm gonna have DN01 so remember, my foundation is DN2, which is for dark tan. Let me look. Let me tell you. So the foundation shade DN2 is for very tan to deep skin with warm neutral undertones, which actually works out well for me because the warm that they're talking about is like a golden with neutral undertones. Like, I like it. So that's the, that's the foundation for the concealer. DN1 is for medium deep skin with neutral undertones. Perfect, right? And then I also picked up DA2, which is for medium to deep skin with warm undertones. So those warm undertones that they're saying is like a golden. DA2 level 2 is deeper than DN1, obviously. But the undertones is where I want you to see the difference. DA2 has a little bit more of that warm, almost golden undertone. And you can see the difference in the tubes. DN1 is definitely gonna be lighter, right? So let's put DN1 on the, ooh, I, 
DN1 kind of light though. It kind of, you know, but people like like concealer under them eyes, right? Not me, like that's not my preference. Let's do DA2. So the A is supposed to be amber, right? So it's going to be more golden. The N is going to be neutral. And I think just based on how I prefer to wear my concealer, DA2 is my, yeah, that's my thing. If the, you know what? If the D and one are really working on, if it's a little bit too beige, because that's what neutral undertone can end up looking like. If it's too light, it ends up looking like beige, right? So if it's too light, which I think it is, I don't like that look. Can you guys see what I'm seeing? Like, I don't like it. <laughs> But, you know, if DA2 works out, then I'm going to return DN2. I don't, I don't know. I'm using the Patrick Ta Four Face 2 brush. That was not very good coverage, I don't think, for either of these concealers. It blended out nice though, like it's it feels good, but I feel like I didn't get any coverage. Should I try some? I don't want to lay on too much. Let me try again. Let me try some more. Let me just put on a little bit more, cause I felt like that was a lot that I put on, but I didn't get the coverage, cause my under eyes are something to contend with. So I was expecting a little bit more coverage. Let's tap it out with the sponge then. This is an e.l.f. sponge. I love the shape of it. It's a really nice shape sponge. It's the Camel Concealer Sponge. You know I have a backup, right? Don't play with me. The Camel Concealer Sponge. I just like the sides of it and I'm using it dry. You don't have to use your sponges damp. Don't let people tell you how to live your life, okay? It doesn't always have to be damp. If it's damp, it's gonna add hydration. If it's dry, it's still gonna work, okay? I don't feel like may I get the coverage. I don't feel like... It's pretty, like it looks pretty, but it's not... It's not the coverage that I'm looking for. Let me see, does it say light coverage? Like I feel, ooh. Medium coverage, radiant finish, hydrating, long wearing cream formula. Multi-use lightweight concealer. It is lightweight. Radiance, okay. Um, finishes medium. It definitely is a medium. I prefer like a fuller coverage concealer. I'm not in love with that. Let me try the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Care and Concealer. This one I got in N385. This one also matches up to the Givenchy foundation, which I have. And I do really like, right? So this is for tan to medium deep skin with neutral undertones. I Yeah, that feels like it's going to be better. The applicator is larger. It feels a little cooling. And I can feel like I feel the coverage. Like, I don't know how, but I feel the coverage. Let's see. Radiant finish as well. Hydrating, it says medium coverage, and it's good for dark circles. Revolutionary hydrating 24-hour wear concealer formulated with 95% natural origin ingredients that conceals, corrects, and cares for his skin. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's try it with the, the brush, you know. See how it works with the brush, because we did use the Valentino one with a brush. Oh, okay. I feel like I just got more coverage a while ago. What to think? It feel like there's more coverage, no? And then let me use a little sponge, which is usually what I would do is use the sponge. Okay, okay. Givenchy. It's the Givenchy concealer for the win. Okay. Valentino. I'm gonna return you, you know? I'm gonna return. I'm gonna return it! I'm gonna return it to them. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna return it to them because I OD'd. I really OD'd on my purchases for the Sephora sale, even though I was like, oh, don't buy anything. Meanwhile, do as I say, not as I do, because I really OD'd. 
The thing is though, the palette, this I got on Melt Cosmetics because they had 30% off. So I grabbed it from Melt Cosmetics for their 30% off versus the Sephora sale, which was 20% for me since I am rouge. I'm using my one size powder. This powder though, like I don't feel like I need another powder for under my eyes because this powder just works so well. And if I really wanna be matte, this is the powder that I'm gonna go for because it's that good, it's that good. All right, I have another powder that I wanna try out. It is from Lawless. So I have the Lawless Bronzer Powder. When I tell you it's fantastic, it is fantastic. So this is the Lawless Perfecting Powder. It's a talc-free skin smoothing powder. Let's see what this says. So when I saw them release a powder, it's kind of like with um, House Labs. If they release a pressed powder, I'm getting it. I'm getting it, like it's fantastic. So I got the shade 10. They have a limited shade range here. But it seems to be like a decent enough shade range. They have like a deeper, sh a de yeah, ultra deep shade. So I got tan. This is for tan to tan deep. And then they have two shades after that, which is tan deep and then deep. So I figured let's try out this powder. It comes with a little sponge. So you lift this up and there's a sponge under there. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this, say, um, powder brush. All right, ready? So I'm picking it up on the brush. It deepens up a little bit. With powders, I always say go lighter than you think, like the shade up, because if you set your foundation with it, it's going to apply a little bit darker. That looks pretty. That does look pretty. Hold the phone, that looks pretty. That is not, let me see, is it getting cakey? No, it looked nice. It just looks nice. So the Say bronzer, when I felt it, it felt like a cream. And I feel like more brands are doing like those gel hybrid powder formulas where it's ultra smooth, like it feels like suede. House Labs powders, yeah, fantastic. So I can't wait till they do like a powder foundation or like a pressed powder. Then we have Make Beauty, those suede bronzers and their blushes. So frippin' good, frippin', frippin' good, <laughs> flippin' good, right? So this is vegan, natural finish, medium coverage, cruelty-free, clean at Sephora, and it's talc-free. It absorbs excess oil with china clay. There's phytosqualine, which balances the skin by preventing moisture loss, and perlite powder reduces shine. That looks good. I really like that. Okay, there we go. Done. All right, bronzer. So I have two bronzers, right? You know I was going to get bronzers. So I picked up two from Pat McGrath. Now, I would usually just pick up Pat McGrath off the Pat McGrath website. That would usually work. They always have a sale. They always have at least 10%, right? Um, I don't know that they were having a sale recently. They might have, but I wanted my 20%, so I went ahead and got this, but Pat McGrath has like 30% off all the time, especially towards the holidays, which we're actually getting close to the holidays, even though it's not summer yet, like their fall launch is happening, and I'm like, what's happening? So I picked up two shades, and I want to try them both. I picked up, does it say what the shade is? You know, I'm not like Pat McGrath and them foolishness. No, it's have the shade pen. All right, so Bronze Mahogany is probably the deeper shade. And I hate the packaging, it's like a, a, a little tab. So this is Bronze Mahogany, which is a deep shade, and then Bronze Divinity. Bronze Divinity is a terracotta bronze, but it's orangey, right? So I was like, I'm gonna want an orange, you know, I'm gonna do want the orange, but I'm gonna try it. This is the BK Beauty 101. Oh, that's another brush line that I love. So we have Refer. BK Beauty, Sonia G, and Sonia Kasia. Those are probably my top brush brands, hands down. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little orange. It's terracotta, right? So it's not like it's lying to me. It did say terracotta, which seems to be working fine, right? I don't think I, <laughs> I can get away with like an orangey blush, bruh. 
Hold on, I haven't filmed in so long, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can get away with an orangey bronzer versus like a red base bronzer. Oh, that is pretty. And it's very subtle. And I expected that because when I swatched it, I was like, this is not giving a color. This is not giving any color. But look, it's giving like a little bit. Like, ah, oh, yeah. And, and you know what? When it comes to bronzers, I think you need to go a little bit lighter than you think. Because you want it to just be a kiss of color, right? It doesn't need to be dark. It's just going to give you a little, yeah, a little color to your skin. It shouldn't be too intense, okay? I don't mind this at all. And it's doing a little contour. That's nice, okay? It's not very rich though. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not very impactful. So I got the dark one, which is rich bronze. It's a little reddish though. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna take a little bit. It's a little bit deep. But I figured if I'm light-handed and her blushes are very light with like the pigment they're very light like they're easy to blend out so i figured hey i can use this and kind of lightly build it you know and like use a light hand and i can but like you have to be very like light-handed with it so i like it though i kind of like that Hold on, do I like it? I kind of like what it's given me, but I like I said, I have to be very light-handed with it because it's a rich color and it's a little bit more on the red side. I don't mind that. What do you guys think? Like, what do you think? I don't mind it. Do I need both shades though? Which is kind of what I'm trying to assess right now because like I said, I OD'd on the purchases and I think I went overboard so I'm assessing everything right now that color is okay I think I prefer the tan shade for me I'm just thinking that right yeah I think so I think I'm gonna return yeah you heard me right I'm returning the concealer and I'm returning these bronzers those are the only things I'm returning so far, so it's not too bad. I also got the Kosas bronzer. This is the Sancho bronzer in the shade Paradise. So this is like a rich, deep shade. And I feel like instead of keeping the Pat McGrath deep one, I can keep, Lord Jesus of mercy, on mm -mm, Jesus of Nazareth. It pick up really, really enough. No, no, no. Yeah, so I'd rather keep this one as like the deep shade in my collection and then return the Pat McGrath one. Right? This one has a glow to it, right? So it's a different, that's what I'm saying. Like it's a different formulation. It's not like two colors of the same formula. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the Kosas one. It's a little glowy, but it's not overly glowy. So I'm gonna keep the Kosas one, return the Pat McGrath one. Okay, now we have Giorgio Armani, the new Lumina Silk Glow Blushes. I picked up one shade. I think I did good here. I think I did good. I could have went overboard, but I was like, no, I have blushes that I love, okay? And I just want to try one shade. So the shade I picked up is 30, which I believe I have the cream version of this. And Giorgio Armani, those Neo blushes? Oh, the Neo Nude? Oh, they're so good. So I was like, let me just try out one. If I love it, then we can, you know, revisit at a later date. But for right now, I'm just gonna use one. And this is pretty. No, it's pretty for true, but it's very light. Here's the thing about blush and me. They can fade very quickly. So I'm gonna give it a minute. It's light. It's light. It's like a really quick, natural blush on me. That is not giving me too much. It really isn't, right? It's barely there, but I do like a barely there blush, just like I like a barely there bronzer. It doesn't need to be like extreme. While I do like a blush, it doesn't need to just like take over my cheeks, you know? So, it's nice. 
right, it's okay. All right, what else do we have? Lips. I have a ton of lips here, but it's all like lip butters and lip glosses. So, well, lip oils. It's not really like straight on lip color. Oh, I do have one little lip color from Tower 28. This is the Tinted Lip Balm, and I have the shade Squeeze, which is the orangey one. Let me use the mascara though from Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty, again, do not buy Fenty full price. Like, there's always a sale. There's a friends and family that's at least 25% off. Sometimes you can get it for more, which is what I did. I just got this from the Fenty website. They had a 25% sale going on. So I got this. So let's go ahead and apply. And you know what's funny? The Melt Cosmetics website, they usually do the sale around the Sephora sale when they do their, I guess you consider this their summer launch, is it? Yeah, like their summer launch. They always do a launch for 420. Again, the weed association situation, but 420, you know 420 is the national day of smoking apparently. I don't know, right? So they always do a, a sale, but their new launch, which they release on 420, is never included. It's always like excludes new launches, but the palette was ex included this time, and I was like, what is going on, right? So this is the Fenty Mascara. This is, has there ever been a Fenty Mascara? I don't recall. I know they're eyebrow products, right? So they're brow products, but I don't know that there's ever been a mascara. And this mascara is doing absolutely nothing for me. It's lengthening and it's coating the lashes, but where's the volume? Like, my lashes look thin. What kind of mug of mascara this? Like, no, listen, my lashes are good. So when a mascara doesn't make them look good, I'm like, hey, you're not doing anything for me. How dare you? This is not good. And no, mm -mm. and it's like clumping them together. So I'm not even going to layer this. No, baby. I mean, okay. It is it just, mm. my, my lashes aren't bad lashes. I'm not saying that. But this is, do you see how like them just look like Anansi foot? Like spider legs? Like where's the fullness? And I do have like a smudge, but where's the fullness? No. Okay, Fenty, a mascara full full. <laughs> it's not a good mascara. I am so sorry. Let me grab the mascara that I stand by that is also black owned. This is a Miko Lay. You want some volume? This mascara can probably save this Fenty one because it's separating it and it's giving it fullness versus... Alright, look now. Do you see how this... This is a couple of coats of the Fenty, but this is like spreading out my lashes so they look like fan lashes. Let the mascara kind of start drying and let's try on this lip here from Tower 28. So like I said, this is the tinted lip balm. It's a twist up and it's the orange shade. This is so pretty. What I just wanted to try one shade and I was really good with that. I OD'd, but normally I can go overboard and pick up like, oh, give me five shades, right? Of the line. I don't need five shades. Let's pick up the shade that I want, which is the orange. If this is a tinted lip balm, that is more like a like a sheer lipstick. This is not a tinted lip balm. It may be a tinted lip balm in that it's moisturizing or something, but that is more like a li like a lipstick. No, no, for real though. That's giving more lipstick vibes with the like the opacity. Let me let me figure out my life. I'll be right back. Let me clean up this mascara. I'll probably put on lashes, which I did get Velour Effortless Lashes. These are the no trim lashes. So what size are these? Short and sweet. So that's the style. Let me show you what they look like. I always trim my lashes and these are like pre-trim. So they're like the exact width that I would want. So I'm going to apply these and like fix my mascara and be right back all right so I am back I fixed up the mascara smudges I applied my lashes and I will say these lashes from velour were really easy to apply 
and they're like the perfect shape like come on I didn't need to trim them they're the perfect length that match up to my natural lashes with mascara and they just add this fullness that looks really natural Mm, and the fact that I didn't have to trim them is really great. So the taper from the shortest lashes out to the longest is like automatic. And it just, it's perfect. I, I love these. They're very pricey. So would I say run out and get them? No, not unless you can get them on sale. And even 20% off is still gonna make them $20. So they're not like the cheapest but you can wear them multiple times velour lashes aren't my favorite because I feel like they deteriorate really quickly they don't give as many wears as even like drugstore lashes from kiss they don't give as many wears but I'm gonna use these a lot more I wow beautiful like really nice the eyeliner I applied to my waterline is from kaleidos it's their night of creation eyeliner this is one of the multi comb so it's the purple one very subtle but beautiful little contrast with the orange which the eyeshadows I really like this eyeshadow palette now is it pop out in your face like intense shimmer no but I prefer that like I don't like blind and sparkling shimmer I like this kind of shimmer and I really like the matte so the eyeshadow palette I'm happy with I love it if it's your color story I don't think it's bad. It's just that the melt palettes are so pricey. So would I ever recommend buying them full price? No. And I think that goes for any makeup. But there's some products that I just don't see the value. I really don't. Like, I really, really don't. This palette is $58. Oh, so it's cheaper than I expected. But it's still 10 eyeshadows. Like, okay, they're cute. And I love the packaging. Like, I like it. But $58 is still steep for eyeshadows. Like, uh, no, makeup prices are outlandish these days. Like, are you kidding me? You know. The foundation, really nice. Let me go in with this Clarins Lip Oil. Ooh, ciao! This shade is Apricot, right? It's the Lip Comfort Oil. I'm gonna pop it over this tinted lip balm. Which, by the way, let me talk about the lip balm first then. The lip balm is really pretty. If you're expecting just a kiss of color, that's not what you're gonna get. Maybe the other shades are more lightly pigmented, maybe a little bit more sheer. This is not like a full-on opaque lipstick kind of level of opacity, but it's still like color, right? It's still it's still intense color. And of course you can apply it sheerly, but it's it's really pretty and it's really comfortable. Like as a, a balm, it really is comfortable. So I definitely do like the tinted lip balm from Tower 28. Again, the shade was squeeze nice the lip oil so this one's apricot like the orangey one which is perfect for me i love an orange and it has this sweet kind of candy scent it's like have you ever had one of those you know those strawberry candies <laughs> you know the ones that are in the strawberry wrapper that is what it smells like i love these these are so pretty okay i love a lip oil where it's not a straight up typical lip oil which is really oily i love the hybrid formulas that are debuting now where it's kind of a mix between a gloss and a lip oil this is really pretty but you know my favorite formula of lip oil has to be from amico lip right this is their newest shade it is smitten this one is definitely that perfect mix of oil where it's very lightweight but this one is so shiny it's a lot shinier than the clarins one you can see this is a miko it looks wet right this is with the clarins right but i do like the clarins as well but i think a miko is definitely better so i had to get the new shade which is more on the red side if they release me more shades i'm getting them I have all the shades and I love all of them. The pink one is probably my favorite, but this one is great for summer. Because it's a little bit more on the, like that red side, like a popsicle lip. Like, come on, like, don't talk to me. You know this is fantastic. Like this juicy popsicle lip is just so good, right? The foundation, I love, okay? The foundation is fantastic. I've always liked it. If you wanted to try out the very Valentino foundation, yes, top notch. Here come the rain again. Love. 
I'm going to go over my mother and you can't hurry and know I'm going to go over there. I'm going to put on my water boots. You're going to see me, child. As far as the mascara goes from Fenty Beauty, I can honestly, openly say I don't like this mascara at all. Like, there's not one redeeming quality about this mascara that I can highlight. I don't like it. Like, it did nothing to my lashes. Nothing that a $5 mascara from the drugstore wouldn't accomplish, okay? It kind of made my lashes stick together, so I just had like 10 lashes, like groups of lashes. Instead of giving me volume and fullness, it didn't really help too much with length. I mean, I have long lashes. It coated them in black, I guess? Like, okay. But there is nothing about this mascara that is stellar, so yeah, I would skip this mascara. It is not a winner at all. The uh, primer too. This Kat Von D... It's not Kat Von D, KVD Beauty Primer, Lock It. It's really nice. It's a nice, mattifying, smoothing primer. I wouldn't say it's like ultra mattifying. It just feels comfortable. It smooths out the skin. It helps to create the space for your foundation. And I think it's really nice. So I like the foundation and the primer combination. The powder, I don't even have to tell you. The one size one, love it. The Lawless Powder, let's look at my skin. It has settled down a bit. And I think it looks fantastic. It doesn't look cakey, right? Still looks like I'm wearing product on my face, obviously. But it's smooth in with this little subtle radiance to it. It's not like matte. That's a pretty powder. I do like the powder. So the powder, yeah, thumbs up from me for the powder. Um, the concealer, I didn't like the Valentino concealer. It's too lightweight. It's not giving me the coverage that I need. I'm not in love, okay? These aren't too pricey though, which is a good thing, but I'm not in love. I'm not in love with the concealers from Valentino, but the Givenchy concealer. If you know me, you know I love a complexion product. I love concealers and I love foundations. I love trying new ones. I love having like an arsenal. And this is, this is nice. This is a decent cover. Okay, I had to wipe some off because of the mascara fiasco. So it may look like I'm a little bit darker under the eyes, but this concealer, I really love how comfortable it felt. I love the applicator. It's like a nice comfy applicator and the product blended out really nicely and I like the shade match. Again, it's N385. I really like this. I like the concealer. I will be reusing that. Absolutely love it. The bronzers, the Pat McGrath bronzer, they're okay. They're okay. I prefer my House Labs bronzer, but I think it they're nice bronzers. I just feel like the shades are a little screwy because the tan one is orangey, which I'm going to use that one. I'm going to keep that one. The deeper one, mahogany, I can see that working for deeper skin tones if you have a red undertone or you like a bronzer with more red to it. It's not for me. It's a little bit too rich, which I expected. Let's be fair. I expected that. And it's not like I can't use it. I can. I can use it light-handedly. But I'm going to return that shade and just keep the tan for me. So if you use me as a shade match, go with the tan one. However, be aware that it's terracotta. It's orange and it's not too rich. It's a very subtle bronzer, okay? So if you're into subtle, yeah, go for it. But if you want some more oomph, it's not going to work out. And I feel like the jump to mahogany is a little bit too much. Like it's too deep. It's too rich. So hair hair with the Pat McGrath bronzer. I think it blended out nicely. It's a nice like lightweight bronzer. It doesn't look powdery. It's not too harsh. I do like it. I also like the Tower 28 bronzer and I feel like this is gonna replace the darker one from Pat McGrath. It's rich, okay? She is rich. She has a glow to her if you apply a lot and like blend it out. It's a lot of glow. However, if you use it light-handed as you would use a bronzer, right? you're just trying to get a wash of color, then this is really pretty on the skin and it gives, again, this subtle, subtle glow. It's pretty. It's really pretty, so I like that bronzer. What else did we use? Oh, the blush. The blush, what do we think? Y'all, I feel like this is a blush that I'm gonna have to layer with a cream blush to really get the impact. It's light. It is lighter than I expected it to be, as in pigmentation-wise. This would work really great on lighter skin, I think. They'll get that color that they're looking for, but for me, I need something a little richer. Just a little richer. 
you're seeing bronzer and blush at this point and I feel like the bronzer is doing the the heavy lifting the blush looks okay it's not really clinging to my skin as well as I would expect or want so it's kind of fading too so so it's like hair or there I like it you know it was cute it applied well but I don't think it's giving me the pizzazz. Look at the lips, the pizzazz that I'm going for, but I like it enough. I'm gonna keep using it and I'm gonna layer it over their cream blush just to give the longevity that I need on my skin. Cause again, my skin eats blush. So there you have it. What else did we use? We spoke about the lips, do love the lips and I love the overall look. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this yeah this look and just catching up with me chatting with me i'm going to do a haul video of all the things that i picked up during the sephora sale hopefully i will get this done after i go cook the oxtail right now all right so wish me luck i'm gonna go cook oxtail try to edit this video while the oxtail is cooking and then i'll be back to do another look and hopefully share with you the items that i picked up from my haul I will list everything that I used and mentioned in this video down below in the description box. There will be links next to those um, products. If there's an asterisk next to any of those links, which I believe the majority of them will have asterisks, that indicates that it is an affiliate link. That means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's an easy and quick way to show your support for the channel because it gives me a small kickback. But if you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop. No must, no fuss. But if you do use my my links thank you so much I appreciate the support you can also give me a super thanks or join my channel memberships which again is a great way to show your support for the channel it's like a tip jar if you enjoy my content and you want to contribute that's an easy way to do it otherwise go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter those are the fun places for me not so much Instagram more Twitter even though Twitter is like a whole mess over there what's going on what's going on i still like twitter because the space that i've created is kind of fun so follow me over there and on to my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you bye guys